been a cold and yet sunny morning today. Uh, it was minus three last night, so uh, there's still some frost in the shade here. But I have been clearing out the garage and moving wood around so that we can get access to it because this was completely empty. Uh, tidying up that will become more uh, of the kindling pile and then some more little logs there. Just been clearing it out, de spider webbing a little bit, uh, clearing the walls down and tidying up a bit. Got more kindling over there to be dealt with, but we'll worry about that later. And these are the logs that I have, or well, the stumps that I have <laughs> pulled out of the garage that need chopping. And is now dubbed Stump Henge. <laughs> so uh, that's my job next is to chop those up with the chainsaw and meanwhile dad is working on installing the toilet so the water is off at the moment and waiting for Andy to um, come over and to do some more plastering for me because uh, he's currently covering that for me whilst uh, I crack on with other bits and pieces that uh, need doing but aren't great tasks that nobody really wants to do like sanding things, chopping wood, uh, running around uh, just doing various bits of bobs really uh, but yeah I will crack on with all that and uh, I'll see you guys later right so we're going to have a look at this all the bits and bobs the track for the door then this is the bit that goes over the top the sort of helmet of it oh yes destructions here for me Make sure we've got all the bits first. And Andy, meanwhile, is doing a grand job of plastering in there. Right, these are all the bits. Dad's now unpackaging the door. There we are. One door. And one dad. <laughs> Here we go. And the question is, how far do you at least 40 mil? Yeah. That's not more than 40 mil. There's our prisoner, current captive in there. I'm oh, just pointing out our captive. There. Okay. Now, this one. Yeah. Do you need me to come and hold it? Hold the beam? Uh, the track come in. This is the one we don't know it's going to go here. That we're going to try and right, roughly ten. guess. now up. The door is now on the floor and we now have to screw the cleats into the top. So here we are, the pelmet is up, the track is up, the door is on, we now have a door to the bathroom we created, oh yes. So there we go, the seal room. That's just brilliant. I love the fact that we've made this and that I've designed this out of my head. I just love it. 
yes still got protective stuff on there yes things need a clean down but we are getting there and in here is plastered so I mentioned before tiles are going on this wall so we're going to try and start that tomorrow and plastering is done up and all around and is practically done all around here too so a couple of tiny bits to be done around here a bit more just skimming across there but practically there practically so yep hopefully That'll come out with a good sanding and then that'll be done. Just needs decorating then. So after running out of chop logs yesterday, I was cutting and splitting these. So we now have enough firewood hopefully to see us through until the end of the month, which is February. And in here, as you can see, it's cardboard city even though we're using lots of it actually for kindling and stuff um, it has to stay out here the day is brightening up nicely it's been quite cloudy this morning so I'm not gonna lie <laughs> I'm just videoing you dad I'm not gonna lie my dad's been doing some of the hard work here today cutting the tiles um, I put those up back there they're the first ones to go in currently the power's off whilst we put the next tile in place um, dad is currently finessing the tile to go in um, around the uh, plug socket so I'm not sure if we can see this eh? there we go mm -hmm. lovely hole you've created there sir in the tile which is yes. fantastic pity it's not quite the right size <laughs> is but it getting there it's getting there oh well done you really are a superstar there they are thank you i'm just going to show everybody so these are the tiles that i'm putting in and i can actually probably if dad's not working in there start tiling above and across and uh, I'm just going to show you. Oh. So this room's cleared out a little bit since we were last in here. Spent this morning just taking some of the unnecessary stuff out. That is the step from the toilet into the main bathroom, um, which will be put in. But for now, here we are. I've got to do the beveled edge for that there so that's there I've got to cut that down so I can do that the toilet we've put in we've finished putting in today um, so between us a bit of teamwork uh, we've fitted that and I've put in the sink initially all the plumbing still needs to be done um, but it is sitting there and in place at the right height so that's great and just gives you an idea now I step back a little without falling through the hole uh, we've got the nice bidet there the sink unit and the bath the bath panel um, that I was making previously is in the workshop drying um, from being woodworm treated and yeah then this will all be plastered. I think I'll probably be doing some start work on that. Um, just to sort of do the base coat. And then Andy will probably come in and finish that off to sort of a, a paintable finish for me. And the same in here. But we'll see. We'll see how things go. Let's 
have a look at what it's like outside today. It's been a bit of a mixed bag, really. They said it was going to be 20. It's not 20. The sun did try to make a breakthrough earlier, but uh, unfortunately it did have a bit of an epic fail on that. So, um, yeah. Lovely, mild weather for this time of the year. It is uh, late February, I guess, mid, mid to late February, it's around the 20th and uh, 21st, something like that. The birds are beginning to tweet a lot. Need to cut hedges at some point. God knows how I'm going to do that and keep those level. It's all going to be fun and games. Fun and games. But I'll do that apparently before the birds start to nest. Hurrah! Thing is, they want to nest just as I'm able to go out there and uh, cut it. So we'll see. <laughs> so here's just today's efforts. There's all my tiles there. Oh, there we go, get some focus camera, come on. Even the camera's not awake yet this morning. And then Dad's put the first tile up today. So, yeah, we'll try and get those done before we have to take him to the airport. See you sometime. I am filming you. <laughs> so I say bye-bye. I love you lots and thank you for all your help. And I will see you soon. Right. Probably see you sometime this evening. <laughs> yes, on video call, yes. <laughs> yeah, on video, yeah. Yeah, that will be lovely. I'll probably be whapped up on pain relief <laughs> after my fall earlier. As it bloody hurts. <laughs> anyway, I shall get out now and uh, give you a hug goodbye. It is yucky and bleh here at the Moj. Come here, you. No escaping without a hug goodbye. It's wet out here. Yeah? I know it is, I know. I love you lots. Love you, gods. <laughs> <laughs> it's been lovely but until now, eh? Nice mm. Safe journey. Love you. It's almost sleet-like. There we go. Andy has been blending in the new plasterwork. Finishing off these walls for me. So that's the one that uh, we did together. And then he's been doing these. Let's go into the other room in a minute. I'll show you the tiling that Dad and I have done today. And yesterday. So that's all done. All the tricky cuts. And Andy's been in Finishing off some plastering around here. Some of this still needs to dry out before I can paint it, but that's all good. Be pretty happy with all that. So it's coming along. Let's see what he's up to. Ah, so we've done the back wall as well now. That's blended in. Uh, we took the plasterboard off and put all the pipe work. And he's now currently finishing off the work I did around the chimney breast. Yeah. Yeah, please don't fall falling off. off a chair. No falling off a chair whilst I'm filming. We've had enough of people falling off of things today. <laughs> she says, having fallen off things more than anyone else. Well, that's that's mainly, yes. When I say people, I mean me. <laughs> and that's the next bit. That's... So the next thing to do is to go back in here, tacking these beams, sanding them down properly. And then I will need to paint between the beams. I want to leave the beams natural. Um, they'll probably just get... Uh, some sort of treatment so that they don't get woodworm. But yeah, very much looking forward to doing that. Got some chandeliers to put up, 
which will work particularly well I think in here. The other one's going to be tricky. Um, and then yes, it'll be painting the walls. I've been sanding, sanding back some of this so it's quite smooth and flat. And uh, there's still some more minor filling to be done. And in here, I've finished off doing the bevel on there. And the toilet is fitted. Can't remember if I've already shown you this, so I'm just showing it again. And then I've agreed that uh, I'm going to do a base plaster on this. And then Andy will come back in once I've done the base coat and polish it all off. But I'm currently waiting for some PVA glue to arrive so I can finish PVA gluing it in here. Plus needs to sand, I don't know, if I see the ceiling in here is a bit rubbish. Uh, it needs good sanding back, get rid of all the flaky old paint. Paint that with some durable bathroom paint. And after it's been sanded back, and hopefully then that'll be lovely and finished. Thank you once again for joining me here at Cottage Tranquility. I hope you're really enjoying watching the progress. And if you are, please do share my videos, like and subscribe.